Hello, YouTube Nation. Welcome back. Solo project today. Miss Rebecca, not with me on this one. So what I have taken up maybe in the past year or so is from time to time, I get the urge to make paintings. Um, I'm not very good, as you can see by that wonderful cloud that I'm making. Um, however, ever since I was a little kid, I have absolutely loved watching Bob Ross. To the extent that my mom used to be a crafter and I would steal her paints and I would paint on cardboard boxes and stuff and try to paint happy little trees. Um, I wasn't good at it then. I'm not very good at it now. So right there, what I did on this little bitty canvas, I've got some canvases left over from the girls' paintings and they kind of go in spurts with them too. So what I've done is I'm stealing one of theirs. It's a little bitty canvas, nothing big. And because I'm such a professional, that is duct taped to my tool bench. Um, you know, no easel, no anything professional for me. It's just duct tape up against a pegboard. But um, I get a little bit of motivation from things that I see. And this was one that I just wanted to try to do a black backdrop. Um, the one thing I have done, really, the only thing that I've ever got is I got an art award in high school, and I'm pretty sure everybody that took art got one. And I've taken one officially licensed Bob Ross painting class from an instructor who went to Bob Ross College. Um, I will have to say that it's it was the most fun I've had doing that um, painting. He made it. It was a husband and wife team, and they really made it an awesome thing. And it was very enjoyable to do. So I've learned, you know, in two hours, I've learned maybe four or five techniques, which actually makes me have very, very below average, maybe to average paintings. But I like it, so don't hate on me. So all I've done, I've, I've, I covered that with black. I let it dry overnight. And then the only color I am using is white. And it's the magic Bob Ross white. I figure if I use the magic stuff, it'll, it'll turn out. So what I've done there is I put a little magic white on my finger. Um, I cut a little bit of that out because on a piece of paper next to the iPad, I was uh, trying to draw a circle. Well, I can't draw a circle, but I found that if I use my finger, I can get pretty close. So that's supposed to be a moon. It's a circle. There, my duct tape fell. So now what I'm trying to do is just blend it out to make it look like maybe a foggy or cloudy night. I haven't decided because I pretty much what, what the brush does for me, that tells me what is going to be on the painting. <clears throat> so for this one, it's pretty much fog and clouds. Look at them happy little, happy little clouds up there. That looks a mess, and I'm trying with the lighting and whatnot to get this. I'm actually recording this on an iPod pad thing, and it's just standing up. It actually falls here in a little bit, but I'm going to edit that out. That's good times. That instructor always told me to blend stuff that makes it look better and you always look, you always use two hairs and some air to make it. So I think I'm pretty much done with the white right there and this is black. So I'm making, it's very dark behind us. We're looking onto the moon. Um, real artists are gonna tell me that my shading is incorrect and you are correct, but on it, this is my world. So we're making little bushes there that's just in the dark, that's a tree. I will say that I like making trees. I think I, I do, right there is where the camera fell. That's why it's a little bit different. Um, <clears throat> I do enjoy making the trees and I think I do a, a pretty decent tree. It's about the only thing I do right in the painting world, but they turn out okay, which that's why I make so many of them because I think it takes the focus off of the not so good parts.
Oh, here we go. Na -na 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 -na. Wish I could tell you what kind of tree that was, but I'd lie if I told you I was an outdoor type. I added white to the brush on this one. That's why it's a little grayer. I was like, hmm. Moonlight's a little shiny over there. Or it's snow. You can tell me what you think it is. Bam, trees. All right, and that pretty much makes the painting. Thanks for joining, hope it wasn't too terrible.